Is physics compulsory for upper secondary? No, no, it isn't. It's only it, it, on, only only one course. Is for compulsory? Everybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Compulsory. Yeah. And what about chemistry? No, no. So the students don't have to take chemistry at upper secondary. One one course only. One course. Which which is which, which isn't much. One course is one year. No, no, it's um, more like six weeks. Six weeks. Yep. But they, it is compulsory in lower secondary. Mm, I yeah, think there, seventh, yes, eighth, yes, and ninth, that's or why it's compulsory, right. Yeah. So then the students will make that choice at upper secondary, depending on where they may want to go with yep. the matriculation exam, yep. right? If they want to be a doctor yeah, or yeah. something in the sciences. Yeah. In, in, if they know they're not going to go in the sciences, to be a teacher, would they want to take probably more physics, right? And more if chemistry. They want, if, if they want to be a physics teacher. But if they're going to be an English teacher... No, they don't have to. They wouldn't have to. All right. Um, is, is there a lot of homework involved that you give for your classes? Or? Well, it varies. Uh, I Personally, I don't do much homework, or occasionally I do, but uh, it, it varies. Some, te some teachers give all the time homework, some, some, some don't. Maybe nowadays we give less. Yeah, because I've talked to quite a few... T students and they well I don't know how much how many hours a day they define as homework but the students that I, I've been talking to at this school they define homework on average of maybe one hour sometimes two hours a day but usually an hour a day is sufficient does that sound it, it makes sense and this this is for all their classes combined yeah it, it makes sense they should do a bit more right but uh, on average, if they can really spend that, it's already quite a good thing. Now, you don't give a lot of homework, but why don't you? Why would I? They learn during the lessons. Okay. So I try to, uh, okay, sometimes I teach, sometimes, sometimes I don't. But uh, the idea is that uh, in every lesson, students would be doing problem solving practical work already. So I give homework only in those cases when we want to achieve something that we weren't able to do during the lessons. Mm -hmm. However, if you define homework as uh, studying, right. uh, and then what I do, I give them some pre-lesson work all, all the time. So I tell them that, uh, okay, tomorrow we are going to study Newton's laws of motion. So study that section from the book. Right. And then we... It's not flipped learning, but it's uh, kind of flipped, flipped learning. The point is that they, I want them, generally speaking, to come prepared to the class. Right. Do you find most of your students do that? Uh, it depends. Mm -hmm. mm, if uh, good students do, mm -hmm. weaker students don't. Right. But it's their choice. Mm -hmm. Either if you want to learn, you do it. If you right. don't want to do, learn, you don't do it. Do you normally base your lessons off the, the book? Or do you create your own lessons? Well, I'm a textbook author myself, okay. but uh, I write m m nowadays for the IB, so it would be different. Okay. From, from, oh yeah, uh, because you're uh, teaching yeah. me. Yeah, but uh, I, when I teach at national level, then I'm always using the book mm -hmm. as the core material. Right. And uh, I think that a uh, textbook is extremely important in math, in physics, in chemistry. You can't do without. Because if you, if the argument is that uh, I can, pre I would be, uh, I could prepare my own material, or I could uh, say what I have to say during the lessons, I would say that it's it's entire nonsense. Right. Because uh, it's about science, it's it's about physics, very difficult things, where you have to be very accurate, very, very precise, terms have to be defined, etc., etc. Et so textbook is at the heart of everything, mm -hmm. and uh, my role is. Point, point to some directions. Do, do that. Do that. Do, do that. And what do you think about technology? Um, computers, iPads, all this stuff. Do you think Barry? you need that to to learn or no? No. No. Uh, we use technology. I just downloaded new software for my phone. You have different kinds of sensors. You can measure Doppler effect with, with your phone. So you use it in your classes? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, A lot. Uh, well, it's part of everything right so but uh, uh, what I mean it, it isn't essential for learning in, in a sense that we wouldn't be able to learn 
uh, without it. Right. Of course, it gives uh, many options: slow, right. slow motion videos, right. and uh, simulations, and etc., uh, etc. Et right. But at the heart of everything, well, we could say it's, it's a piece of paper and pencil and calculator, right. and, the, and, and, and your brain. Right. But I guess my question is: here in Finland, the teacher can decide how they want to do it, right? So if you want to use a lot of technology, you can. But if you, if you're more of a book person and old school, then that's quite okay too yeah. and the, the director or the principal is not going to be coming in dictating to you what yeah. how you can teach and what yeah. you want to do indeed and does the principal do that here come in and dictate to you and no, no, no no has he ever um, no not, not, not really because right. it isn't our, in our system it's of course he tells us uh, what he wants us to do in general terms right but uh, in the end, it's our, our choice what we do, because we know our fields. So the principal doesn't come in your rooms and check to make sure you have the objective of the day on the board and all the... the That's the, the major difference. We don't have that. Right. Do you think you need that or no? Well, why would we? Right. <laughs> right. So, so then having that stuff on the board, who do you think that benefits? Nothing. No, no nobody. Maybe just the principal? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, for... Principles, right? Because when, you, when you want to tick boxes, it's uh, right. useful for. for because do you think the students really care? What's no, no. they they don't care. It's time wasted, right? So if you if you have your syllabus that says that okay, this is the things we should should should, should cover, and then we, when we have professional teachers, so teachers with university degree, so that all teachers are highly qualified in Finland, that they know what 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 they do. We have very high quality textbooks. Right. So, after that, it's uh, entirely a matter of taste how to teach, mm -hmm. what methods work, work best, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. There are many, many ways to reach the same, same goal, so, so to speak. Right. But <clears throat> at the core of everything is, is, of course, very high, high quality textbook material and uh, the overall system and the way we are used to studying since the very childhood. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, we are honest people. Uh, it's, uh, if, if you see a box of money mm -hmm. uh, on the table, uh, or you, you may say a flower shop uh, in, in countryside, mm -hmm. where there's flowers and then there's a box of money, open box. And when you nobody's there, when you pay for the flowers, you just put man money there and you leave. Nobody is watching you, nobody is following you. Right. So it's uh, I don't I don't think that that happens in many places around the world. I don't think I don't think it happens either. It doesn't happen in America. I can yeah. tell you that. Yeah. So we it's uh, we have a different character in, in, in yeah. that sense also. So and that's part of the teacher freedom in in, in Finland. Mm -hmm. Teachers are very hard hard work workers and uh, hard working people they don't need rules for their work because mm -hmm. they are so enthusiastic last question i got to go i have a student yeah. interview but do you do you, do you believe education in general within the culture is valued yeah of yes course, of course it's uh, what why do you think so what what's why do you think it's valued because it's not valued much in america Teachers aren't valued much. We, well, in Finland we are. It's a strange question. Why wouldn't it really, really, really be? It's, it's something built inside, I, I would say. Right. It, it's something that makes us happy, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think. When you come to school, you learn together. We have a nice atmosphere there. Nobody, nobody is pushing us. In Generally speaking, it's a positive thing. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for your, your interview. You're welcome. I appreciate it.